I, in general, put women in three categories. And as I do this, I do just want to say, this is not meant to be judgmental. It is not meant to make women bad or wrong or wrong for the issues and, and challenges they have in their life. I was not, uh, and, and looking back, I was many of the red flags I'm going to talk about. Um, I was not in an emotionally good place when my husband and I met, and we can look back and laugh at that now. He was in a challenging time in his life too, and by the grace of God uh, and, and, and the guidance of God and, and my beliefs, I was led to this path and was given the, the, the key to being the best that I can be and who God created me to be and being the best woman I could be and hit the jackpot of a good man. And we have a dance and have, have made it work. And, and, I, and I and he have worked really, really hard to overcome some of the issues and challenges we have and have a healthy, happy marriage. But I certainly, like just for the record, I certainly <laughs> was not <laughs> uh, someone <laughs> that uh, a good man, if he was doing his homework, uh, I was not someone to choose. Uh, and so as I get into three different types of women, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and a, a woman could be, there's one of the types of women is what a man wants to look for. And the other two are the ones you don't want to marry this type of woman. Those types of women might be listening. And I want you to know that there's a path forward for you. And there, if you're open-minded and you want to change, you can outgrow how we show up in, in our woman ways and in these issues and problems. And getting into three different types of women, reminder, when you get married, you are marrying a woman. So she's on a spectrum as women. We have these woman ways I talk about worrying, being controlling, nagging, um, getting in your lane, uh, making you feel bad and wrong through emasculation. We have these behaviors on a spectrum. So you have to know you're going to be marrying a woman and that a woman is just as I teach women that a man is never, ever, ever going to relate to us as a woman. Men also need to know a woman's never going to relate to you as a man. She's she meaning she's not going to think and and have the priorities of integrity and accountability and responsibility in life like you do. And that's really important so that you can, that's where we ultimately want to get to as a dance where we can accept each other as women and men and, and learn to be in a dance together. But you want to find a woman who's on that low end of the spectrum because that's where you can actually have that dance. So the first, again, three types of women. The first type of woman that is not the type of woman that you want to marry or be in a committed relationship with, this is where I was uh, when my husband and I met, is a low-functioning woman, meaning she has a lot of life problems. She's not in an emotionally mature, stable place with herself and her life has been a series of different traumas drama and ongoing dramatic life issues these women often have a lot of family drama they have a lot of past relationship issues a, a phrase that i hear often that i think would fall into this category is the damsel in distress where she's looking for a man to rescue her and save her and coddle her in her emotional issues and life issues. That's a, a low, a low f a functioning woman. The second type of woman is a high maintenance woman. So this is a, you do not want to be with a high maintenance woman. High maintenance women are self-absorbed their looks and external appearance is what defines them. They require a lot of time, a lot of attention. They are 
expensive, and demanding. In short, they place a high, high, high value on image and status. And they're very empty on the inside, but yet very, very high maintenance. They're ones that might take a long, long time to get ready, hours, and need to look perfect and be dolled up. Those are high maintenance women. And there's all kinds of characteristics that could go into that. But like I said, I'm going to keep this part pretty brief. The third type of woman, the third type of woman (laughs) is what good men want to look for when they're doing their homework and, and doing this, going through the screening process and picking a good woman to marry is you want to find the third type of woman is a low maintenance woman. So this is a woman that doesn't spend a lot of time in front of the mirror, doesn't take long to get ready, um, doesn't need to go out into the world perfectly made up and being dolled up. She doesn't ask or expect a lot out of you. Remember, my channel is for for women and good men. So a good man by nature is responsible, hardworking, a good provider, kind, thoughtful, genuine, heartfelt. So she doesn't expect or ask a lot because she knows she's got a good man and he's a good person and wonderful just in who she, who he is. She, a, a low maintenance woman is more self-sufficient. She's not drawn to drama and in general, is just down to earth. This, this is what was in me. <laughs> <laughs> Bless little young Karen, uh, who was so lost <laughs> and challenged. Um, but this was what was waiting inside of me of who I truly was in my nature was being a low maintenance woman. Other than doing my hair, which takes about 20 minutes to get ready, put my makeup on and be dressed and ready to go. It takes me about, I guess, with, with makeup, maybe 30 minutes. It doesn't take long. So, and, and I don't need a lot of expensive makeup or face care or, or things like that and flexible, easygoing. That's what was in there waiting. Um, but that's, that's the kind of woman that a good man wants to look for is a low maintenance woman because she's going to be, again, self-sufficient, more emotionally stable and mature. And that's the best chance you have. Again, you never know you're taking a risk but that's the best chance you have. She's going to be on the very low end of the woman ways that I talk about so that you can have that dance. Hello again. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. For those women listening who know you are the problem and you want a path forward to change your woman ways and truly be happy in yourself, I have a course for women called the Happiness Program. And the happiness program teaches you to resolve the unhealthy relationship you have with yourself so that you can be the solution to the issues and challenges in your marriage and your life. You can find the link in the description below to learn more about the course and apply to enroll. For the good men listening who want a way to take back the power you've unknowingly given away to your wives, I also have a course for you called the Marriage Rescue Course for Good Men Only. And the course teaches you how to rebuild your strength and confidence so that you can navigate the relationship with your wife in a healthy, constructive way. Again, you can find the link below in the description to learn more about the course and apply to enroll. Again, thank you so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.